So this week I've been playing around a bit more with Playgrounds and I've discovered one of the really quite difficult things is is to save files or to save anything in iPad or um, Swift. So what we're going to do this week is show you how to do it and show you a couple of the shortcuts that will make it very easy just to have a little save button, save a configuration, save a few details that you need without too much extra code. I'm going to do this by making a little notepad up and so I'm just starting by getting the Swift UI up and don't forget you put functions above the actual structure otherwise you're going to end up in a bit of trouble. Again something I found. So the first struct we need are default keys. These are really important and allow us to set up our saving function and for each variable you want to save you put in a key. Now in the next part we open up our default settings. So when you open the app you want to open the last saved thing and if something hasn't been saved then we leave some standard text. So to do this we do question question and that will be your default value if nothing is found that has been saved. And you do this for each of the variables that you want to save. The variables below are ones that we're not going to save, we're just going to do it. The first one um, gives us a nice little color and the second one uh, is a counter max and those will be used as the programs run. So this bit's very important because it restores the last saved version. Now the next part I'm going to do is add a little bit of text. I'm going to add the actual text editor itself which is actually only like one line of code with a nice little border, a bit of padding and on change to actually count the number of characters so that this is a useful program. And finally another little H stack where you can put frequent text, um, things that you just want to add really quickly. There is a copy of the entire code in the description but really I want to focus on saving today. So now we're going to create the save button and that is literally going to do it save. So we're doing let defaults, uh, user defaults.standard. It's a little bit of a shortcut there, but it enables you to then set your text for key and your default. We do use dictionaries, but if you are new to Swift, you can literally copy and paste this. And wherever you see one and two, you can put three, four, and five until you're happy. And this will save all of the text that you would like. Let's have a look in a little bit more detail about the key parts that are doing the saving. So this first part just sets up our default keys and actually using them with a simple static. And then the next part is to actually get your keys when you load up so that you actually remember where you came from, you set it up, you put your text in. First thing is because this is inside a Swift UI structure, you have to use state. You can't just use a straight variable. And then this is the command for getting the configuration file. And this is what looks up the dictionary entry. If you don't understand this type, data type, that's okay. Just literally use one, two, three, four, and so on. This provides the default values. And finally, here we have the button save. So it literally is a save button, let the defaults and you put your variable name in that you want to save and that's your dictionary look up. Wherever you see key one, key two or numbers, you use those to create all the variables that you want to save and bring back. Thank you for listening. If you've enjoyed this, please drop a note in the comments and uh, let me know what you're looking for next. Hoping that this Playgrounds experience is uh, giving you a lot of excitement and enabling many more people to code more easily and make real apps.